quiet and I'm just wondering where the boys are there we go two beautiful boys all snuggled up together on the cloth in the warm right boys there's the raise of the eyebrow there from Nipper just to recognise he's actually still breathing. You're comfy, aren't you? You're both comfy, boys. It's very cold out today. It's been frosty and a bit wet, a bit uh, snowy. We will say snow, just a little light haze. So they're coming to get warm. Good boys. <laughs> So it's Friday afternoon, mum and dad are here, they're going to be looking after Mr Bentley and Mr Nipper for us while we're at the Indigo Blue Open Day tomorrow. Um, I've already finished packing my bag, my demo bag, ready for um, the Open Day tomorrow, but I've just realised I've missed at least half a dozen things. It's always the same when you're trying to think of all eventualities. Um, obviously I'm going to have resources when we get to uh, Indigo Blue to do the demos but there's always kind of bits of equipment and stuff that you want to take with you extra bits of equipment like stamping platforms and pairs of scissors and bone folders and you know every type of glue that you can imagine and i've just mentally done a quick list and i'm missing at least half a dozen different things um so i'm going to have to go through the bag again and just make sure i've got absolutely everything i can possibly think of i may end up even taking two bags with me who knows? Anyway, that's not the reason why I popped on. Um, I've just been looking at my um, YouTube statistics, if you like. Um, I was kind of hoping that by the end of 2023, um, I would reach 31,000 subscribers. Um, and as of this morning, I'm at 30,980. So I'm only 20 people away from, or 21 people away really if you think about going over the over the total um, from reaching the goal that I kind of set myself to for 2023 and um, so I have a little bit of an appeal if you are or have been watching my or our videos and watching our vlogs for some time now um, but have never hit that subscribe button please do so now obviously hitting the subscribe button just means that you'll get notified when I upload or when we upload new videos in the future. It's free, obviously. Um, so yeah, so if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so and just help me, if you can, to reach that goal of 31,000 subscribers by the end of December. Thank you very much. Good morning everyone, it's a very white and very bright morning. And cold. And cold. Very cold. Very cold. It's minus five. To you guys in the States, I know it's nothing, it's probably a warm day for you, but it's actually very, very cold for us. Uh, we're on our way to Indigo Blue today, it's the Indigo Blue Open Day! So, Mike and I will be demonstrating there today along with the lovely Kay. Lovely Ella will be there as well. She runs the business on a day-to-day -day basis. And Alfie. And Alfie, well, 
Alfie will be there, whether he's there mentally, I don't know. <laughs> It'll be somewhere else, no doubt. Busy, busy, busy. So yeah, we'll do a bit of filming when we get there. I do apologise to the wibbly wobbly camera. Um, I can't hold it in my right arm. I've hurt my shoulder and my chest. I've ripped something. I did it yesterday afternoon. And by golly gosh, it hurts. So we'll see you soon. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's lovely. It's festive. It's warm. I've got a fan heater under my table. Look at you. I'm fine. So we come flatulent later, you're going to die over that. <laughs> are you ready? Uh, not quite. No, you're never ready. Are you? No. Are you ready, Alfie? I'm always ready. Alfie looks like we've got peaky blinders today. <laughs> peaky bleeders. And show me show what I'm doing today. I'm doing paint effects on these lovely book boxes with nice. the fonts. Oh, that's nice. What are you doing, Mike? I I'm making journals today with these lovely Baroque covers. Oh, they're nice. Where are they from, Mike? They're from Indigo Blue, here. Yeah. They're very good, aren't they? Strangely enough, we're here. Oh. So they're very so, handy. So it's good value and great product. Oh, dear God. It's going to be one of them days. So it's about 10 to 9 on, just checking the clock, on Sunday morning. We got back from Indigo Blue at about half past six last night. Uh, we stopped off and grabbed some pizzas on the way home. Um, so we had those for, um, for our tea when we got back. So that was nice. So we didn't have to cook or anything. Um, but this morning, like I said, I got up. Ian's taken the boys out for a walk already. Uh, Mum and Dad are still in bed, so I'm not going to disturb them. I'm going to let them sleep. If they're comfy, if they're sleeping soundly, then <laughs> I'm just going to let them wake up naturally. So um, the plan for today is I need to get up to um, the supermarket to grab a few bits and pieces. Um, I'm going to see whether Mum or Dad want to come with me for a bit of company and also to get out and stretch their legs and get some fresh air. Um, but judging by what mum was like yesterday, I don't think she'll go, but I think dad will. So, and then this afternoon, once we've had um, Sunday lunch, we're going to get the games board out and have a couple of games. It's Monday, just after lunch. So I've taken mum and dad back home now after the weekend with us, looking after Mr Nip and Mr Bentley. So they're safely ensconced back at home. Lots of shopping, so they've got plenty to last them till Wednesday um, when I take them shopping again. So I've unpacked my bag from the weekend. Uh, try, well, try to put everything back. Um, I realised that I've left a storage box behind. I'm going to have to get Ian to pick it up when he goes there tomorrow. Um, he's down at the post office at the moment, taking his website orders that he's got ready. Um, I've got a couple of website orders as well to get um, to get sorted and in the post. Um, 
a bit of confusion this year about last posting dates for the US. Um, now, apparently the last posting date for Australia and New Zealand is Wednesday. Um, so that's going to be the 6th of December. Um, but not really sure what the last posting day for America is. So I'm hoping, or US and Canada, um, so I'm hoping um, that because we're sending everything tracked to the US and Canada these days, that everything's still going to arrive in time for Christmas. So just in case, I'm going to get all my packages done, um, all my orders packed up and in the post no later than Wednesday. So Wednesday will be the last um, that I can kind of, sort of, I think, guarantee delivery before Christmas. Um, anything after that, and I'm afraid I can't guarantee anything because um, who knows what the post is going to do <laughs> um, between now and then. Um, so, yeah, so that's that sorted out. So I need to get all those done later on this afternoon. Um, but I'm also planning the last mid-month mini mission inspiration, which is going on the 15th, I think it is, 15th of December. No, it's the 16th of December. So Saturday the 16th of December is going to be the last mid-month mini mission inspiration. As I've mentioned before, next year we're doing weeklies. So it's going to be 52. So there won't be a main mission at the first Saturday. There won't be a mid-month mini mission halfway through the month. There'll just be one every Saturday. Um, or I'm not actually sure whether or not to do it Saturday um, or keep Saturdays free for other art journal and mixed media projects and move the mission inspiration to midweek. I'm favouring midweek, but I know you guys, um, most of you don't necessarily go on on the Saturday that it's released anyway. You tend to do it a couple of days afterwards or the week following when it's released. So really, I don't suppose it makes any difference if we're doing it weekly, what day of the week it actually goes live on the Facebook group because you can just go to it at any point during the week anyway. Um, I will be setting up a new folder um, for all of the new um, Mission Inspiration prompt cards um, so that there will be one dropped in every week. So you've got the full kind of catalogue. Um, there will be um, the format will the, the format for them will be that you can print the prompt card off, cut it out and then fold it and glue it together to create a kind of oracle card. Hello. It was a bit excitedly coming in. Did Mr. Nib just follow you up? Eh? <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Hello, you. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to kind of save it as a kind of like oracle card um, it will be the same sort of size as a tarot card when it's done um, so you'll be able to do that and then if you save them each week by the end of the year you'll have a full 52 deck that's the plan anyway hi everyone just to let you know that the six week course to build the william morris journal Voila, mm -mm -mm. we'll be starting this Friday, which is, like it says, looking at the calendar, the 8th of December, and it'll go for six weeks. Week one, we'll do the cover. Week two, we'll do the carcass of the left-hand side. Week three, we'll, we'll populate that with all the printables. Week four, we'll do the left-hand side. Week five, we'll do the printables to go on there. And week six, we'll put it all together and sort out the ephemera. The downloads will be available ASAP. Have a look on Mike's website for these. And I look forward to seeing you on Friday. So, ta-ta for now. See you Friday. We're on our own today. It's just me and Mr. Nip. Bentley has gone to work with Ian. So we're not going to go far because it's raining. And as you can see, Nip is not much impressed. <laughs> Thank you.
it's Wednesday morning. Just gone 10 a.m. It's uh, Eddie's gone. It's the 6th of December. I've driven through to Mum and Dad's this morning. Um, Mum was feeling better, but she's she's not feeling quite so good today. And Dad, turn that down. Dad's not feeling quite so good either. Um, but he's up and about. He says he's only he's just got a headache. That's all. But Mum doesn't want to go shopping. So I've got a shopping list. So I'm going to go do two shops of shopping, which I'm a dab hand at after the pandemic. <laughs> I can do two lots of shopping. <laughs> That's what I did before. Um, so I'm going to go to the little local place called Fox Valley. It's between here and Sheffield because I need to stock up again on dog treats and that kind of stuff so mum's complaining she's cold this morning so I've just gone round and checked to make sure that all the radiators are, are turned up to a, a decent kind of temperature and not too low so the one in the kitchen was turned too low. So I've turned it up. I haven't said anything. <laughs> Just turned it up. <laughs> so they should start to warm up now. But she's sat there holding a cup of hot tea in her hand. Complaining that she's cold. And she's like cuddling this hot cup of tea. Trying to warm her hands up. And she's got three jumpers on. <laughs> three sweaters. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's quite quiet in here until I've just looked round and it's quite funny. I've got some peace. Poor Mike. Tea time, obviously. Supper time? Supper time, yes. Bentley? Yeah. Is it supper time? Nippy? Is it supper time? <laughs> so they both know what time it is. And they're reminding me, it's time for tea. Come on then, let's go get your teas. Come on, you beautiful babies. <laughs> so we've just got back from a very cold and wet walk this morning. The boys have had the feet dried and I've toweled their the faces and their the feet and the legs and their undercarriages because the coats only cover the tops and the backs. Really, and my glasses are still covered in water, look. Still covered in rain. Um, yeah, they didn't really want to go far this morning. Not surprisingly. So we just went down to um, the church at the end until they've done the business and then um, <laughs> better <laughs> I can see you now sort of if you know what I mean um, yeah we just walked down to the church until they did the business and then they were both really ready to come back and it started walking back straight away so hopefully this afternoon Bit it's got water all over the floor now. Um, hopefully this afternoon it will have fared up a little bit um, and won't be quite as wet because I know they won't want to go out this afternoon if it's still raining. But <laughs> it's the weather for this time of year. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel-only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.